In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five step process infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click the first step comes where I put the text research, you can add the option number and then you can add the detailed text. And the second step, it will come with a different color combination. And I've added the icon of the idea. You can see here then the option two and then the text then comes the option number three, which is process the option four and the last option is the goal you can see here you can make this a uh, beautiful gradient looking or gradient fill uh, infographic slide and i have created one more slide where i have just reduced the size of this one and you can give some different color combination according to your uh, requirement and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link I have used Office 2019 version to do this. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any light color background. Then go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I am going to select the rounded corner rectangle. Draw the rounded corner rectangle. Maybe this much size. Actually we need to add 5. So depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease the size of the rectangles. And then if you want you can just drag this orange point outside so it comes maybe this much shapes shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to make it with a gradient fill for that right mouse click go to format shape and select the gradient fill here i have used two colors that's the reason is coming so you need to put only two stops and the remaining two stops you need to delete that one so one stop you can just choose and go to more colors and then from this uh, color palette you can just choose any a color of your choice maybe i'm just going to choose one light color and the other stop i'm going to choose some dark color combination you can see here the light and dark color like this all right and then i'm going to add one more rectangle small rectangle okay on top of this one at the bottom side you can see here something like this shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white and then I'm going to add one more shape where I'm going to use this uh, right triangle, uh, sorry, this uh, triangle. Draw a small triangle by holding the shift key. Shape outline, make it no outline. Shape fill, you can choose the same color which we have used just now. And rotate it. You can see here, you can rotate right 90 degrees. Zoom in a little bit and then I'm just going to attach it like this. You can see here at the corner. If you want you can reduce the size also okay and here you need to add the text go to insert text box and you need to add the text your title center align and I'm going to choose the font called Roboto or any other font of your choice and here I'm going to use the same color which I've used for the background you can see here same thing and put it exactly in the center something like this then i'm going to add two more rectangles here select this rectangle draw the rectangle from this end to this end we can see here something like this shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to fill the same color what i have used for the background so you can see here you don't see that one now i'm going to add one more rectangle you can see here and then i'm going to copy the rectangle from this end to this end shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black increase the transparency level then go to the effects under the soft adjust increase the size and send this to back so it looks like kind of a you can see here something like this all right so now this also i'm going to send this to back only the title has to be visible let me just see like this or if you want you can just select this also and send this to uh, back so it looks like this you can see here and if you want a lesser shadow you can just bring it more down all right so this is my first thing and this one actually i have to put it here in the center like this you can see here now it's very easy for me i'm just going to select all of this and hold the Control shift key and put it the second one hold the Control shift key make sure to give the same equal spacing third one you can see a fourth and fifth 
then again you have to select all this let me just select this one as well as this one if you want you can group it also then send this two back so you can see here you have to send back like this i'm selecting this and this send back all right or you can just select this one or bring to front also whichever way you can feel easy or comfortable doing that one and this also i'm just going to select and send this to back all right so you can see here uh, we have done this part now we need to change the colors of this one so i'm just going to select this one and here i'm going to select the first top go to more color now depending on your requirement you can just choose any color of your choice for example i'm going to choose some light color uh, with a dark color here the same color or you can just choose some other color of your choice also so whichever way you feel more comfortable you can see here i can select maybe this one i got this color combination and here also i'm going to choose the same color you can see here now coming back to this one again go here and i would like to do a maybe a pink kind of thing so light pink with a dark pink combination you can see here like this or it looks like same i have to just make it more darker yeah you can see here like this and this also you need to change to the same color now let it be the same color and for this i may choose some blue color combination so i'm going to choose some light blue color uh, with a dark blue color you can see here like this all right and then this also should be matching with your color which you have used okay sorry the text colors you can see here the same color i'm going to choose and here also i'm going to choose the same color and here i'm going to choose some purple all right if you don't have you can use the eyedropper and just click it here and for this blue i can just choose the color which i have used recently so now you can see here we have done this part now you need to add some icons to add the icons go to insert icons and depending on the requirement you can just choose any icons for example randomly i'm just going to choose uh, five different icons click insert bring it here i'm going to make the size as 0.6 all right and then i'm going to make this as a white fill color now i'm just going to put it one by one like this you can see here make sure that it is aligned center all right so like this so once this is done what i'm going to do is go to insert and uh, add the text box here i'm going to type option one zero one center align again use the same font which is roboto if you want you can make it bold or you can use the same color and exactly put in the center hold the control shift key and put it for the second one the third one the fourth and the fifth one something like this and then change the number to two this is three this is four and this is five and then below you can add some detailed text so go to insert text box i'm going to type equals l-o-r-e-m within bracket one and i'm going to delete unwanted text delete it select this one you can just choose any light gray color reduce the size and center align make sure that it is properly aligned you can see here if you want you can reduce the size to further to 12 and then hold the control shift key so this is the text for the second the text for the third fourth and this is five all right so you can see here we have completed the design so if you want you can add some basic animation to it 